Hey guys, King in the North here, back with some more Chrono Trigger. Last episode, we brought Chrono back. And now, we can take on Lavas, but before doing that, we are going to take care of all the side quests. Uh, this side quest, I'm actually going to go after the Rainbow Shell. And to start that off, we need to go to 600 AD. I believe this is one of the longer side quests. That's why I wanted to start with this one first. I'm just gonna fly to this area. As you can see, this is a different town from what we are uh, used to seeing. So first we are going to go to It's the inn. Nope, it's not the inn. This is just a... Yeah. A rest spot. Cafe. Here we are. My tools have been stolen. I can't get any work done now. Okay. I wish Toma would stay put for a change. And if you remember who that is, that is the explorer. Ten years ago, a beast was seen carrying something into the northern ruins. Treasure, perhaps? And here's Tuma. Hey, Chrono. I finally got a lead on the rainbow shell. But there's something going odd going on. Oh, can you hang on to this for me? Got one Toma's pop. If I don't return, come to my grave and pour this on my headstone. Gee, isn't this morbid? So, uh, he's got a lead. So obviously, obviously, uh, what we're gonna do is advance time to make sure he dies. <laughs> uh, I think 400 years is about good enough, right? <laughs> Here we are. West Cape. Uh, if you remember when we first came here in 600 AD, there was a forest here. Now, it's a gravestone. The Great Adventure. Toma. Levine. Rests here. 3 6 634. So he died 34 years after we spoke with him. I'm gonna pour one out for Toma. It's grave, Jesus. There he is. Chrono. Long time no see. Uh, kind of, but not really. I've located the rainbow shell. To the northwest of this cape is a large island called Giant's Claw. You can find the shell there. So this is actually back in 600 AD that they showed us. But beware, there are many beasts about. Time to shove off. Shove off where? He's been hiding in the ground all that time waiting for us. You guys are a riot. See ya. Anyway. Now we head... 600 AD. <laughs> Back where he's still alive. I don't know what happens. Let me go to the inn real quick. Uh, or the cafe. I'm curious. Oh, he's not here now. Okay. Park this here. This is the Giant's Claw. <sighs> oh, those holes. What if I jump into them on purpose? Yes. Start back at the beginning and that ends the note. So this has a bit of a familiar feel to it. 
Is this the Tyranno Lair? See? Even Marl knew. Prehistoric Castle. Oh, almost grabbed that chest. I believe Chrono still has... Yes, it's only going to cost 5 MP. These guys are weak to electricity. Damn, they got two shots off. Discharge. That hurt. Wow, he's still alive. Okay, jeez. Wasn't expecting that big of a fight from him. I thought the Luminaire would just knock him out. Use a not a mini ether. A tonic. Chest, got one sight cap. I think we already have one of those. This goes down. Okay. Alright, so this is. Alright, we don't want to go this way. So, dead end. that switch. Come down here. This is probably similar to the one that was in Tyranno's lair. Yes, there's a save point here. I will use a shelter to top everyone off. Back out of here. And I believe the right one will spawn enemies. Oh, there's a kitty. Jump down there into the cat. Alright, I think this is like the other one too, where one might spit out an enemy, the other one just opens it. Good. The switch? Nope. Got the power tab though. I'm guessing I just have to hit. Or maybe just leave. <laughs> See, there's a, another sparkle over here. I'm sure we'll get into combat with something, maybe? No. Power tab. Chest here, I see. Ether. Alright, I'm gonna cut out this combat not to waste time. Okay, just like before, those guys are weak to physical damage. There's gonna be more enemies here. As soon as we go through this door, I'm sure. Blue rock. Uh, but that's for a triple tech, actually. Not 
Uh, I think we want to go up here, actually. Yeah, alright, so this is where it leads back. That one area I turned around that. I figured that was like an optional thing. We need to leave, that's a shortcut. Just here. That is... Wow, no enemies in there. It's kind of nice. Right. Oh, all right. Figured it'd be kind of e too easy to take out no, just these two. I'm gonna do the luminaire again, just because it did a lot of damage. I'll do ice too as a follow-up. Maybe he can't counter ice. Defensive power decreased when shocked. Alright, that's the way to take care of that, I guess. Right. Can't open this skull, but I think there's like a shiny behind. Yeah, we'll get to that. Drop this guy down. We'll do the side first. I think the other side's the way to go. Dead end with the chest. Perfect. Frenzy Band. Let's check that out. Assuming it's an accessory. Frenzy Band. 80% counterattack rate. That's really good. Uh... I'm gonna leave the gold stud. I, at some point, I'm probably gonna put the gold stud back on. Or put it on mag. That's not good. I'm probably gonna cast ice here. I'm hoping ice 2 can take out these flyers. Actually, I'll pause this. No sense in recording this. We got a long way to go for the side quest. Alright, nothing too crazy there. Stick with magic and or the ice to wipe out those guys. And then fizzle attacks on the ape. Ooh, I believe this is actually a rubble. Okay, we were able to take out both of those. Drops us down to a cell here. Can go up, but actually we're going to want to go down this way first. Open this door and pick up our shiny tab here for another power tab. Do them all with power tabs. Get on down here. This is a save point. Uh, we use a shelter. Pop everyone off. And... We'll save it. sure that sound is familiar to everybody. Uh, hmm. Let me equip everyone here with... Oops, fire hits. Ruby vest. I probably should have grabbed the, the cheaper versions to all these. Anyway gonna do my best with this and do I have any magic tabs? I'll probably just use those right on. Agus. So I power up his magic as much as possible because I believe we're gonna want to use magic for this. Can't go around this way. Actually he doesn't want to talk to us at all. Until we try to go around this side. It's a pretty scary looking face, not gonna lie. But here we are. 
going to do my best here to spam cast some magic. Lightning does. Let's see what ice two. All right, so let's try lightning two then. Okay, so lightning's gonna be the way to go. Kind of hoping I can push him. Quick enough without getting an attack in because his countdown does take a little bit. I'm doing pretty decent damage. There's nothing super amazing for all three of them, but it helps, I guess. So, like, doing like 400. 700, I mean, that's decent. What is Chrono doing again? Is he doing a thousand? Or nine hundred? One thousand two hundred, alright. So I'm doing roughly two thousand each rotation. health he has. I didn't do any research on boss mechanics before this to get an idea of like what the health would be, but obviously it's way higher than what it was the first fall. But I'm thinking you're probably supposed to finish him before he finishes that countdown, because if you remember the first time we fought him, it also had uh, Azil or whoever it was with him that you had to burn first. And then after that, he started his countdown. So, because it's only like the one phase, I believe he might be supposed to push it before he finishes his countdown. And the golden stud is super helpful on Chrono right now because that attack that I keep using is supposed to do like 20 MP. But right now it's only doing 5, so he would have been he would have burned through all his MP like a while ago. And then we would have been wasting turns trying to get it back up so he can start casting again. Marl's starting to get a little low. If she does fall below, I'll have her uh, use an elixir either on herself rather than making Magus or Chrono waste their time. Gotta be in close. That's right, she only has the Ruby Vest on. So I might go back off camera. I'm not going to make everyone watch me go back and grab the non-upgraded stuff. We already went through it. But I believe even the weaker set still absorbs and gives healing, just not as much. But there is a couple other fights coming up in these side quests that would be super beneficial to have in healing somebody rather than doing that much. Okay, 
now he's doing different attacks. That might... Oh, that's not good. chrono has got decent HP. Alright, so he's almost healed back up by like a thousand. Jesus. I'm gonna have to cast him by... Or, uh, use a revive, I should say. Not cast... He started his countdown again. Did heal up like a thousand, close to a thousand, so wiped out one of Carmo's, well, most of one of Carmo's uh, single attacks here. Oh, got it. It's over. Busted Tyranno and defeated. Head on up here. And there it is the rainbow shell. This is the rainbow shell? Absolutely. And it weighs a ton. Who's going to carry this for us? <laughs> Alright. Um, so. We will find someone to bring it to a destination for us. I will save that for the next episode. So feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in a different time. Peace.